massive destruction as angry Anambra youths burnt down truck fully loaded with cows. See reasons. Another truck suffers an attack from angry mobs in Anambra state as the truck was set ablaze after being involved in a deadly accident that claimed two lives. Some eyewitness accounts said it was a case of brake failure. About 12 people were said to have been affected by the crash, but only two people have lost their lives so far. Other injured persons have been taken to the hospital for immediate treatment. The truck is a red man diesel truck. Its registration number is JGN. It reportedly crashed into another car, a green Honda CRV with no registration number, and three other cars, namely red Mercedes Benz Formatic with registration number ABJ, a black Toyota Highlander with registration number Oka, and an Ash Lexus SUV with registration number KJA. FRSC reports also said that one of the victims was rushed to Princeton Hospital by the rescue team. He said he was responding to treatment. However, two of the other victims that they took to Amako General Hospital did not make it. They were pronounced dead in the hospital. Meanwhile, according to a report credited to Vanguard News Online, Immediately, the news broke out that those earlier rushed to the hospital had died. The mob went berserk. They reportedly set the truck ablaze with all the cows. This happened around 2.30 p.m. Recall that one truck carrying onions was recently reportedly to have been attacked by the unknown government where the contents were being looted by the community in Imo State. That has made the onions marketers from the north shun the east in terms of onion supplies. Presently, there are no trucks loading onions to the east from the northern part of Nigeria. It is not yet clear how they will respond to this latest alleged attack. <laughs> My God. Can you imagine? See, my dear viewers, this is one of the things we are talking about. This is what we are talking about. Um, the Nutanas, the Nutanas, they are just, they are just getting themselves into new trouble day after day day after day day after day they keep getting themselves into trouble day after day you understand see um the movement of cows to the southeast is now taken to be a taboo it's a taboo to the Easterners. The Easterners have said that they don't want to see anything of such in their st in their states. They 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 want, they want, they want them, but it seems they are they they are, they, are, they are becoming too adamant of those instructions. They're becoming too adamant of those instructions. So why won't they? What things do you expect? Why wouldn't they destroy destroy their their, 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 their truck? Huh? Yes, no. It's just like they warning the, the, the Igbos not to do a particular thing in the north in the north. And this they start seeing the Igbos doing it. Abi, they want them now. If they didn't want them, that would have been different. That would have been different. The warning was there. The warning was there. So what are we saying? What are they trying to deceive? They, they, cost, they cost it themselves. They cost the attack. 
they cause the destruction. This is why we said that. Uh, uh, that, this is why we said that those Fulani men in military uniform should be should should be moved away from the south east because they are the one giving room and access to these Fulani carrying cow to the south east. They are the ones, so they should be moved. They should be moved away. Bore intentionally filled the south east with. These uh, uh, northern men in uniform, intentionally look at all the positions, the uh, uh, the military, the 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 the, 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 the military positions in in the southeast. They are all occupied by by top military men. The inspector general police is a is is a northern man. The, in the in, in the Nigerian army, the, we have the oh, almost almost six generals are from the north from the northern region, mostly Fulanese. Pori intentionally is doing all these things to protect himself. To protect himself, that is what he's doing. Do you understand? So let us just know the trick of the president. Now, what I will say concerning this. The um, bond truck, though what has happened is pathetic and worrisome. Okay, though it's not good, but I will say that these people deserve it because they have refused to follow instructions, they have refused to follow warnings, they, they have been warned, but they refuse to listen. Do you understand? Because it is said that to be forewarned is to be forearmed. These people have refused to obey. That is why you saw what's happening to them happening to them. They asked for it and that is now happening to them. Do you understand? So I am not surprised that they are getting this. I'm not surprised. Because if they have listened and and, and, and avoided these people, this the southeast. This wouldn't have been happening. They are disobedient. They disobeyed to instructions. All right. Um. Let me hear from you anyway. Let me hear from you. Uh, uh, from the outside to know what you have to say. Please, don't forget to leave your comments. Below the comment box, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.